chair for it goes on the floor. Raspberry and cranberry flavour. Mm. Try that one, Sue. Linda, right. you've got apple. Great. I've got mm. cola. Okay. And is it good? Oh, it's well, very really sweet. sweet. Oh, my gosh. And anyway, why don't you just go out and all that carry on? Just go out and buy a bottle it's of Coke. It's dear. After everything she's sort of been through this yeah. year, it's kind of come full circle. And I think mm. that's kind of the positive side of, of what, you know, celebrity, that's where she's kind of earned it. I just hope it sort of continues and she's contained in the right way. Well, I just think it's incredible. Six months ago. <laughs> for breast awareness, pink's a wonderful colour. If you associate it with passivity and, and, and things that make girls feel less than, then of course, but it's, it's arbitrary. We can associate a number of things. What my big worry is, as a mother and as a psychologist, is A, there's no evidence that pink is detrimental, first of all, as an academic, but B, I'm much more worried about the hypersexualized images of girls you know, with, with the Bratz dolls and looking at the pussycat dolls with their misogynist lyrics. That's much more detrimental to a girl, to her self-esteem, to her body image, to her self-concept, than wearing uh, any colour, whatever it is. Well, I, I mean, I speak as a... ...were born, they were given the colour... I agree up to a point, Sue, that this isn't something the government should be dealing with, especially... ...they're there not to give in to your child and to teach them... That ...good parenting. It's a completely different argument. If you're a good parent... <laughs> <laughs>